meaning of this word. Etched in stone was the commandment that I could not proceed on my journey until I knew the meaning. How was I to find the meaning? What was I to do? Where was I to go? Who was I to be? It was a great riddle. Silently I sat si sipping lemonade on my porch, watching red tractors pass in the fields, knowing not where this riddle would lead me. From there, all I knew how to do was dig. Deep into the ground I dug, like a hungry mole, hungry for darkness and dirt. And my sensible mole whiskers felt everything, every little particle of dirt, every piece of matter, even every atom. Patiently, I listened to the stories of the Bah humbugs and learned of all the secret kindnesses of my worst enemies. And then suddenly, a desert wind slipped past my ear, and there materialized a flower out of nothing. It was, in fact, a flower of nothing, the bloom of an empty room. This was called beauty. That was the word whispered by a thousand simmering voices, at once loud and soft, full chorus, glorious, glorious, glorious. My crow beckons, spokes turn, a vision of Vanna White and the fixed signs of the zodiac. What do I see? Plate Teutonics, and yes, even a volcano, despite the cliche. Fault line. I did not make this, but do I recognize it as mine? Puttering on, puttering on. Putter putt. What would please this fire? How to sate this grieving satyr soul? A pine cone served with the side of ambrosia seemed like a good start. But then I remembered the time when I was just a boy, just a little sprout, wandering into a country that worshipped the cold wind and stones and rocks and sand and mud and fog. I knew that this riddle would not end here. Human being is transcended in the stars, yes, yet do the stars continue to shine a light on all things human, though they are above them. Rather, it is the perspective of the earth that says that human being is accretion and accident, transcended in its disillusion. Human being grows out of and into the earth, not towards it. I should mention, though, that a dancing god once whispered into my ear that all accidents are divine. More than his words, it was his dance itself that revealed this to me, for this god knew how to dance with contingency. Then the last one. Joy is pure, we say, but have we ever considered the question of what is the devil's joy? Have people ever imagined a happy, smiling devil, or even better, a content devil, a devil without need? A senseless devil, a cruel devil, a depraved devil, that's not interesting enough for me. Yeah. <laughs>